Today was a pretty awesome day. We do the training the same with everybody. Don't be offended if you think you're the world's greatest super duper diver. We do these things the same way every time for safety reasons and continuity and you'll come out better for it. It's a lot of work by a lot of people. There are a lot of moving parts. Cool work as well. See how physically fit we are. Go and get one more lap to go. You're doing great. 400 yard swim be able to do it like the pool underwater. A little more uh, challenging than I thought it would be. Uh, and it's just the beginning. A helmet coming up. All right, so we're gonna bring the helmet over. You're gonna look up in there, right? Make sure that you get your chin coming down. There you go, good. Today we got a lot of knowledge. I have a feeling by the end of this week we're all gonna be able to use this helmet in our sleep. It sits right on your head so it doesn't heal. We were in class all day long and we learned all sorts of things including flow rates and how to turn on and off our emergency systems as well as how to get our lines in order so to speak so we don't get tangled up in the core race and everything else. It was pretty amazing. I actually learned a lot about hard hat diving and we got a chance to try the helmets that we're gonna to be using for mission 31. Your head forward, there you go. All right, good to go. We're gonna do a test. Where's your EGS valve? Steady flow valve. Good to go. They were definitely heavier than I thought, but apparently neutral in the water. Trying on the helmet was cool. It, it's like I expected. It feels really tight when it goes over your head, and then your, your head is enclosed, so good thing I'm not claustrophobic. And tomorrow, we're actually getting in the water and intentionally flooding a perfectly good helmet. When the candidates put the helmet on, we have a tender monitoring the diver and holding onto the diver, making sure that they aren't tripping over something that's on the deck. And the helmet doesn't give you a wide field of vision, it has a very narrow field of vision. Fabian, I'm about to secure your primary air source. Understood. Securing primary air source. Once the candidate is ready, we'll proceed to flood the helmet. It was one of those most comforting moments where I knew everything was going to go well and sat back, relaxed, and just pulled that seal and the helmet filled up and did the drill just like we needed to. And all was good, uh, just like Roger said. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, that was great. All right, good. All right, good. <laughs>